This video is about getting relationships from graphs. Uh, it's about graphing and graph shapes, and we're going to do a lot of graphing and, and trying to understand graph shapes in our class. Uh, and the first ones we're going to deal with are linear graphs. And the world is very, very simple and easy when we have linear graphs. And um, doing graphing and graph shapes and graph relationships is important. It's a, it's a good way to, to define and predict motion. Um, and linear graphs are, are very nice. So here we're going to have a linear graph of C versus D. And we're going to draw a, just a simple slope straight line and the slope is going to be M and we'll have a y-intercept of B and that allows us to write an equation of y equals MX plus B now that we have that equation uh, we all know that's the equation for a line uh, at that point we need to create a relationship and how we create the relationship is all of our y's um, if we look at our graph our y-axis is represented by C so all of our y will be c, so we put c there for the y, and then all of our x's, which is the x-axis, will be d. Uh, and at that point, our slope-intercept form, the slope and the intercept do not change. And so that is our relationship. Uh, that relationship is, is very nice. It, in, in a simple linear graph, using y equals mx plus b allows us to jump right into our relationship of uh, circumference versus diameter, for example, which is what the C and the D could represent here. Um, and and it, it just, we, we love linear graphs, and so what we try to do is we try to take other graphs and get them into linear form. So we're going to look at this first graph here, and this first graph is going to have A versus B, and it is not linear. Not linear. And uh, hopefully we can all notice that it's not linear. Uh, and if we can recall that this, this line, this, this graph, uh, looks like half a parabola, and, and it's parabolic in, in nature. So we know that in, when we have a parabolic function, that it, our y-axis here will be proportional to uh, our x-axis, and we'll make it a is proportional to b squared. Uh, we don't know exactly how it's proportional in that manner, like it could be a, a, a long drawn out quadratic equation, but we do know that they are proportional in some type of quadratic uh, formula. We just don't know the exact formula. Uh, and that little shape there, proportional, it means is proportional to, and I wrote that really small and I apologize for that, but that means is proportional to. So let's graph this, this A versus B squared. And uh, we're going to square all the values of B. So when we write our new graph, we're going to have A versus B squared, and what we should get is a line again, something linear, something that we can handle. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, so our slope again will be M. Our intercept will be B, but this happens to go through the origin, so we have Y equals MX only. And then the Y values will again become A and the x values will again become b, uh, in this case b squared, and so that is our relationship. And what we call this is linearizing, or, uh, yeah, linearizing our, our, our data. And so this graph is considered to be linearized. It's, it's very difficult to, to try to write an equation of a quadratic, uh, considering they're all going to be different, and so what we want to do is take our graphs and linearize them as best we can. All right, so let's look at the next graph. This graph will be T versus L. And this graph, again, is not linear. And so this, this graph kind of, it doesn't quite look like a quadratic. It, it's turned and flipped on its side. And so what we notice about that is that it's, it's either 1 over X or square root. And, and this, to me, looks like square root. So we're going to have T is proportional to the square root of L. Okay, so at that point we're going to graph t squared versus l. Uh, that will get we square both both variables. Uh, it would allow us to get t squared and get rid of the square root over l, and we could possibly have a linear graph out of that. So we'll transfer over here, and we will get t squared versus l, and we should get t squared equals m over l. 
Now in both graph 1 and graph 2, which are curved, uh, you're going to have a data set, a data table, and you'll end up having to square a set of data uh, to get to this point. So in the graph 1, you would have to take all the values of B and square them to linearize the graph, and in graph 2, you would have to, have, have to take all the values of T and square them to linearize the graph. Now this is a very important skill to have, uh, the skill of linearizing graphs. And, and it's, it's able to recognize the relationship from the shape of the graph and turn it into a linear by taking the data set and either squaring it or square rooted or whatever we may need to do. So we're going to deal with several types of graphs. They could be quadratic, sinusoidal, uh, 1 over x, square root, and then we will have to take the data on the axes and you know either square or square root them or invert or take the log of or find a way to develop a linear relationship between them that allows us to uh, predict future relationships, predict future ways of things, uh, how this is going to occur. Uh, so you're going to get more practice with this uh, and the more practice we get with it the more you'll be able to recognize graph shapes and not have to do as much guess and check.